What is up, family? Welcome back to the Brandon Bruce channel. Today, we have one of Ninja's new products. This is the Ninja Crispy. I am so excited about this one. I've seen all the marketing that Ninja has put out. Let's unbox it and see what's going on inside. <laughs> So before we actually unbox it, I just want to actually look at the box because there's a lot going on. It tells you a lot about this. So keep in mind, this is an air fryer just to give you that it, it is an air fryer. So I know you might be confused looking at the glassware that it has, but this is an air fryer. So let's talk about what actually comes in the box. So you get a 1500 watt. They're calling it the power pod. That's actually the air fryer. You get a four quart big batch container then you get a six cup smaller batch container so you get two containers with this and then you get a big batch container remover removable adapter and then you get two crisper trays and then you get two storage lids lids and then you get a chef inspired recipe book that's pretty dope and this is coming at about 150 dollars um and then another thing so this is what Ninja is saying what you can do with this. It's saying, say since you cooked, or say since you cooked last night, had leftovers, you stored in one of these glassware, uh, tempware glassware glasses, put it in your, your fridge, and they are saying, take this to go. So if you are at work, you can take this to go. You can put your food in the refrigerator in that same container, and then I guess you're gonna take the pot with you and at work, hood, uh, warm it up, cook it up, do what you gotta do. The reason why I thought about getting this because I remember about, I remember when I was on a truck and being a truck driver over the road, I meal prepped at home and then brought my food. But what I did, I had a microwave. I wish this was out when I was over the road because I don't always like to microwave my food because you know the microwave does crazy things to food and then it changes the taste and all of that it cooks from the inside out so air fryers don't do that so let's unbox it and see what's inside i don't don't have my box cutter today so i think it's in the car <laughs> so we're just gonna use these scissors all right so what you get, you get the actual book and instructions. Does this come out by itself? Let me make sure I support the bottom. Okay, so this actually looks like the pot itself. How are we opening this? What are we doing? What are we got going on? All right, over here on this side. Ooh. All right. This is pretty heavy. So my thing, if you're gonna be using this at work, you might leave this part at work and just bring the containers or something. I don't know. I know looking at the marketing and everything, I would have loved to see like a carrying case to go with it. If we're gonna be supporting the on the go type of thing. All right, so let's take the plastic off. All right, so this is what we are looking like. This is what we're looking like. This is kind of dope to have a portable air fryer that looks like this. So I'm gonna put it back. Okay, I like how that snapped in. It says remove this tag before first use. It says countertop safe, power pot adapter and containers. So what I see them doing is actually just sitting this here on your counter. 
you're able to just sit this thing here on the counter if you want it. Now, my counter space is pretty much taken up. You guys have seen in previous videos. I got even, I even have the Speedy actually downstairs uh, on the shelf because I just don't have space for it. All right, so we have, this is our first, this is the smaller container. And I actually like that it has a base to it. Oh, and it doesn't move. Okay, so it has feet. Yeah, it has feet, so it doesn't move. That's pretty nice. All right. And this is the bigger container. All right, so you have both sizes. And they both say the same thing, okay. All right, and they have handles, look at that. And I'm pretty sure that can come off, I hope, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it can come off, I think. We'll look at the instructions. Oh, no, hold on. Always use oven mitts when a unit is hot. Do not remove handles from container. Okay, we're just gonna do what they said. I was over there trying to take it off. All right, so let's, I just wanna sit it on just to see what it looks like. Okay, believe that's how it goes. Now for the smaller one, how does that work? And this is me just like digging in, not looking at the instructions, just trying to see. Let me see, can it just go over it? Oh, yeah, it just sits on top. So what I recognize, I hear like a, you hear that? It has a mechanism, so it knows when it's actually sitting. And actually it looks like, looks like this is actually just the size of the smaller one. So we're gonna do, just a small test, just to see like where, does, where it's actually sitting. Yeah, and then let's look at the bigger one. Yeah, and it just sits on, the, on its frame. Okay, now what I don't like already, something I don't like already, this cord is very short and that's it. We could have got a longer cord, Ninja. I know you can do, doesn't look like it's removable, so we're not gonna do that. But let's look at the controls on here. We have some writing here as well. I'm gonna look at that. It says rest, recrisp, so it says uh, 380 to 400 degrees. Revive your leftovers, so you can use this for warming up things. Uh, bake 375 to 400, gentle heat for all baked treats. Air fryer, 400 to 425, give your food crispiness and crunch. And then max crisp, 425 to 450, best for frozen favorites. So you're looking at about 450 degrees. I'm sure that's where it maxes out. Uh, it says crispy power pot is compatible with Ninja glass containers only. So what they're saying, don't go around trying to buy some glass and sit this on, don't do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick demonstration. I'm gonna be using this guy a lot because first of all, let's talk about this size. This size is pretty dope. Doesn't take up a lot of space. And you honestly could leave this at work and cook, do whatever, bring, uh, let's just say you made something on the stove and then you stored it in one of these and then you brought it to work. Let's look at the lids. He's actually fell and I just assumed that's what it was and I know that's what it is. Oh, and the crisp, the crisper trays. Oh wow, look how little that is. So that goes in here. Something I wanna know, I wanna see what is dishwasher safe. So, that sits in here, and what I did notice, Ninja says you can cook at the bottom and at the top. So if you're used to maybe the Ninja Speedy, Ninja Speedy actually lets you do that. 
Um, okay, something I don't like already. You see that rubber? I don't know. It's not, it's not in, it's not around. So I'm hoping it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, look at that. Uh, assuming, I, I'm, I'm assuming it can come out and go in. That's what maybe it's supposed to do. But I would lo have liked to see it already stuck in. Okay. Just my first impressions of, um, <laughs> of getting it. I don't do well with putting the stuff like that back together, so... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. But what we're going to do, we're going to get these things rinsed off. I'm going to wash them and do all of that. And we're going to warm something up. I believe I have some frozen egg rolls inside the refrigerator. So we're going to put them in and see what happens. We'll do a quick demonstration. We'll be right back. All right. So when I tell you that reading is fundamental, it is. So I just took a look at one of the cards uh, right here. This card that came off. I just took a look at it and it actually says the adapter, this is an adapter, this piece that I took off at first, this is an adapter and this is only to be used with the bigger, hey, hold on, is this coming out? Hold on. Okay, no, it was just moving. So this is to be used for the bigger glassware. You are only going to use the pot by itself for the smaller one. So now it makes sense. This is how it's supposed to go. All right, just clear that up for everybody who gets one. You're like, what in the world? All right, so I rinsed out the bigger one because that's what the one I want to use. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put in the crisper tray. And we're going to put some frozen egg rolls in here and we're going to set it up and cook them and see what happens. Egg rolls are from Aldi. They are chicken egg rolls. They are one of my favorites in case you guys are like, I want to try these. Uh, preparation says baking preheat oven. We're not doing oven. Microwave, we're not doing oven. Air fryer. It says please uh, pla uh, remove plastics at air fryer temperature to 350. Place egg rolls in air fryer basket cook for 13 to 14 minutes so now we have it i have it plugged up let's look at the controls here you have a simple control module looks like you have your minus plus button i'm sure that's the same change the temperature and then you just change it change the mode and you turn it on so it doesn't look like there's a lot of options here all right so let's open our egg rolls We're just gonna, mind you, these are frozen. So we're coming from frozen to air fryer. They smell good. We're gonna put that adapter on here. It says allow adapter to cool before handling. Okay. Then we're gonna sit our pod on it. Oh, and it turned on by itself. Did you guys see that? It automatically turned on. All right, so we're gonna set it to, we're gonna do it for 12 minutes. And we are gonna put it on air fryer mode, which is right there. And it says 12. And um, is there a temperature? Wait, how do you change the temperature? Let me look at the book. I was trying to do this without looking at the book just to see how easy it is, but I just want to make sure there isn't a temperature uh, mode. Okay, so you have cook time, modes, power. So power, press to turn the crispy power pod on, pause. So you use that button to start and pause. Select mode, adjust time. The mode will start with the suggested time, press minus or plus to adjust the cooking time before or during cooking. How to pause cooking. To pause a, to pause a cook, remove crispy power pot. So you can just take the top off. To resume cooking, place power pot back on. So okay, so if you just want to go see your food, put it on. If you want to take it off, 
Okay, so it says four in one functionality. This is what the book says. It says go from low heat to high heat within four cooking functions. So you do not have the option to change the temperature. It's built in to the mold. So if you're doing recrisp, look like it's going to recrisp from 380 to 400 degrees. Bake is going to bake 375 to 400. And uh, air fry 400 to 425. And max crisp is 425 to 450. And it says get an extra crispy crunch with rapid high heat. Best for prepackaged frozen foods. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that for these egg rolls. I think I'm, we're just going to stick with air fry because I don't want it to be 425 to 450. Not only that, I believe the instructions only said, the instructions only said 350 and that's actually bake. So we're going to, no, it said 350 and that's actually not on here. <laughs> All right, so we probably we're probably gonna do it the low heat just to make sure we don't burn these, even though they're frozen. I don't know, that's weird. That's weird. All right, so let's look what bake says. Bake says bake desserts and breads to a perfect golden brown. Best for prepared for scratch bread and cookie dough. Okay, so I don't know if I would ever want to cook something like that in here, but like I said, if you were on the road or this would actually be really good for a hotel stay. Like if you're gonna be staying in a hotel for a couple of days, bring this with you. I can see that. I can see that being a thing. Uh, at crisper plate. All right. So enough of that. We're just gonna jump in and we're gonna put it on the air fryer mode. And what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna check it, just like a regular cook would. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna put it back on air fryer. And we're just going to make it for 10 minutes because reading all that information has got me a little nervous. We're going to press start and see what it sounds like. You get ninjas. Great sound. I don't know why the time went down to nine. Okay. Sounds like a regular air fryer. It's not too loud. Doesn't sound like it's gonna fly away either. Let's see if we get the noise. Let's see if we get our ringtone. Oh, and it says in. Okay. All right. So I also read that the pod is safe. So you most definitely, can, you most definitely, I have granite countertops. So you actually can sit this stuff on. Oh, and just before I go in to picking, to checking the food, I want you to know that this actually does not sit completely on your counter. It actually has feet. So your counter is safe. You don't have to worry about that. Any counter top, top or desk or whatever you decide to put this in, to put this on top, it's not going to heat up. All right, so let's take this off. Those actually look really good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a knife and we're going to cut. I just want to see. Oh, it's crispy. And I know they're hot. Let me get a paper towel. I didn't think it was going to be done that soon. I didn't. All right, guys, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'll try my best to answer your questions. If you have any ideas or anything you want me to cook, let me know. And also let me know if you are buying one or if you have bought one. Let me know in the comments. I will also be linking this device with my Amazon affiliate link that can help the channel out just a little bit. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.